Now, phenine has been recommended across social media for ADHD focus, but what does the actual science say about its effectiveness? Hi guys, I'm Dr. Kidd. I'm a general practitioner from Australia, otherwise known as a family medicine physician if you're from overseas. And in this video, I'm gonna explore whether L-theanine actually works in ADHD. Specifically, I'll cover what L-theanine is and how it works in the brain, the actual research evidence for L-theanine in ADHD populations, my clinical perspective on if and when it may be worth considering in ADHD. Let's dive in. First, let's establish what L-theanine actually is. L-theanine is an amino acid found primarily in tea leaves particularly green tea. It's been used for centuries in traditional medicine and is known for promoting relaxation without causing drowsiness. What makes L-theanine interesting is its ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. Once in the brain, it influences several neurotransmitter systems, including increasing GABA, which promotes relaxation, modulating dopamine and serotonin levels, and affecting alpha brainwave activity, which is associated with calm alertness. Now, why would we consider L-theanine for ADHD? To understand this, we need to briefly discuss what's actually happening in ADHD brains. Patients with ADHD struggle with executive function, and the area of the brain that's responsible for executive function is the area at the front of the brain, known as the prefrontal cortex. Traditional ADHD medications, like stimulants, work by increasing dopamine and noradrenaline in the prefrontal cortex. L-theanine's appeal is that it may alter dopamine levels in the brain, and also it promotes relaxation and calmness, which then can lead to better concentration and focus. But theory is one thing, let's see what the science actually shows. The research on L-theanine for ADHD is limited and the results are mixed. Several small studies have examined L-theanine in children with ADHD. A 2011 study looked at 98 boys between the age of 8 to 12 with ADHD. After six weeks of L-theanine supplementation, there were some improvements potentially in sleep, but there were no changes in the core ADHD symptoms. There may be some more promising research in the area of L-theanine when used in combination with caffeine. A 2021 systematic review published in Curious examined the cognitive enhancing effects of caffeine and L-theanine in combination. The review found that when taken in combination, these compounds can improve attention, reaction time, and mental stamina better than each substance alone. However, we need to be careful generalizing this to ADHD populations, as these studies were done in healthy adults, many of which did not have ADHD as a diagnosis. What we don't have are large-scale randomized controlled trials, specifically in ADHD populations, head-to-head -head comparisons with proven ADHD medications, and clear dosing guidelines for ADHD management. So overall, should you use L-theanine to treat ADHD? I generally do not recommend treatments for patients that have very little evidence. This is because my patients already have limited time and resources, and I want to maximize the yield on those time and resources, by using well-studied treatments that have shown efficacy. However, given L-theanine has a low side effect profile, there are situations that it may be considered. This includes patients that cannot tolerate first-line ADHD treatments, those that have a strong preference for natural therapies only, as an adjunct to medication and lifestyle changes, particularly as an anxiety-reducing agent. It is important to note that the evidence, if anything, shows that L-theanine is more of a calming agent rather than improving focus and concentration directly. If you are considering L-theanine, here are some practical points, but just quickly, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe to the channel, it will really help me out a lot. If you are considering L-theanine, most studies use one to 200 milligrams, although I have seen some people use up to 400 milligrams. It's often taken in divided doses, and if it's paired with caffeine, it's often taken in a two to one ratio. So if you're taking 200 milligrams of L-theanine, this will be paired with 100 milligrams of caffeine. So does L-theanine have any side effects? L-theanine is typically well tolerated with few side effects. However, just a couple of points, it can interact with certain blood pressure medications. The effects during pregnancy and breastfeeding are not well studied. Some people report headache and dizziness, and the quality and purity can vary widely between different supplement brands. If you are gonna try it, give it four to six weeks to assess its effects, but some people may notice some effects within days. So in summary, L-theanine shows some promise in promoting calming effects and may have a role in a comprehensive approach to ADHD management, but the evidence specifically to ADHD is limited and not strong enough to recommend as a primary treatment. As usual, if you have ADHD and you're thinking of using L-theanine, please speak to your doctor and see if it's appropriate for your specific case. If you're interested in learning about a different interesting medication that can be used for ADHD called modafinil, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next video.